All right, here we go. Let's get started. This is Mr. Bruss. We're going to take a look at a new chapter here. Uh, good news is this chapter is just adding and subtracting. Bad news is no calculator. One of the few times we're going to say no calculator, put it away. Let's go ahead and do this all with your big brain. Um, we're going to do adding integers to start. And if you check out a picture of me and my head blowing up there, yes, you subtract integers by adding. What is that all about? Let's go check it out here. Here we go. First things first, we got to know what integers are. So don't freak out. It's just a fancy word for positive and negative whole numbers. So uh, whole numbers are just not fractions. So that's kind of nice. We don't have to deal with fractions. We're just dealing with positive and negative whole numbers. So check it out on the number line here. So everything is based off of zero. So you can see zero right here. As you go to the right on the number line, you get bigger, getting larger. These are all your positive numbers over here. So I marked all the whole numbers there. In between them are the fractions, but we're just gonna deal with the positive one, two, three, four, five. If I go to the left, I'm going negative. So we're gonna do some modeling of these integers, which is always great. Um, and think about if you're going left, you're getting smaller. These are things that are getting smaller. So there's the number line. We're gonna use this bad boy. Other things we gotta think about here is if I'm going to the right or the positive directions, other things that mean positive are increase or gain. We're gonna do some word problems here where you have to really kind of think about, okay, what's happening? Oh, I'm adding. What about uh, getting negative or I'm taking a decrease, maybe a drop, a loss, things like this that can mean, hey, you need to go in the negative direction. So there are positive and negative integers. Don't freak out when you see integer, it just means whole numbers and positive or negative. Awesome. Now that we know what they are, boom, let's go ahead and actually start to add them. So what I would like to do here is model what's going on. So oops, sorry, I'm picking my favorite colors here. We're going to go with red. Uh, we're going to model it on the number line. You may already know this answer. In fact, this is the one that was uh, mind blowing in the picture. I'm adding seven plus negative five. So to model this, how do I model seven? Well, you start at zero. And I'm going to go, oh, it didn't take my favorite color. Bummer. Dang it. Uh, I'm going to go to the right seven. So there is seven. Let's try it again. What am I going to do after that? Well, I'm going to add negative five. Well, what am I going to do? I'm going to add that in the negative direction. So I'm going to start where I was at seven. I'm going to go one, two, three, four, five in this direction. And now I can kind of see what's happening. So does that make sense? So I start off with this, hey, I'm going to go seven to the right. Whoopsh. Then I'm going to add, but I'm going to add, instead of going more to the right, I'm going to add this negative 5. So I went 7 to the right. I went negative 5. When I add that on, it went back to the left. Where did I end up? Yeah, I ended up back at 2. So if we need to use a number line, and I'm going to force you a couple times, 7 plus negative 5 is 2. So you can see what I did. I actually did subtraction by adding. I added an integer, so it's like 7 minus 5. Boom, there it is. I love it. Mind blown. Let's do another one of these bad boys. So if I have negative 8 plus 6, let's model negative 8. So start at 0, and I'm going to go in the negative direction. Oh, my goodness. What is that? Let's try that again. I'm going to go negative 8, so I'm going to go out to here. And that's the first one. And then I'm going to model this. Sorry, I like to switch colors up. From here, I'm going to add 6. So I'm going to add 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There it is right there. And where did I end up? I'm going to end up at what? Negative two. So if I have negative eight, I'd like to think of money, negative eight dollars plus six dollars. So I owe somebody eight dollars. They give me six. Well, I still owe them two dollars. So I like to think about money uh, when I do these integers. The number line here is really nice. Uh, I am gonna force you to do a couple where you gotta model it or recognize my model. Boom, killing it, all right. All right, so here I go. I have a negative three plus a negative five. So let's model this bad boy here. I'm gonna start at zero and go in the negative direction three. So there's negative three. And then what's happening? I'm going to go five more. I'm gonna add five more, but in the negative direction. So you're actually adding another one, two, three, four, five, and boom, there it is. So you see I get more negative. So we're adding, but we're adding in positive or negative directions. Where'd I end up on this bad boy? At negative eight. So Again, I think of money. If I have negative $3 and I add a negative five, so I owe somebody 
then I add on to my debt another five dollars I'm going to owe them eight dollars so check it out put a little money into it maybe it helps the brain process it a little bit all right here we go what if I give you the picture uh, and ask you to model it so check out this bad boy here I started at zero I went to five so I definitely started and went five in the positive direction so I'm gonna start with a positive five and then what I do I added what to it well I added there's this weird thing I'm getting more negative so I added which what I do one two three four five six seven eight nine so I added nine in a negative direction and where did I end up Whoosh, there it is I ended up at negative four so I may actually look at these little models and write your own equation that's super cool so hopefully that's pretty good uh, we're gonna get to the point where we don't use the number lines like that's a good way to think about it but hopefully ideally we can kind of translate that into just what's happening here is uh, probably the trickiest thing and this is what a lot of people remember you'll probably remember this as some kind of keep change change is the, is the big one here the idea is if I have a double sign double signs are the worst you can see the ribbon there I get a lot of those not a lot of first place but you're not the worst place ah, love it all right so I have a minus a minus so what this really means if I was gonna do my signs I'm going negative negative well that means you're going positive so a lot of people like to throw out the keep change change which means you keep the first number you change these double signs they're double signs because they're touching it's negative negative this really means four plus six so I'm actually gonna have you write that out when you see this minus minus uh, it's four plus six which is really ten so this can be the trickiest thing right here if you want to do a little keep change change that's cool too so check out this bad boy over here um, again this the first number the sign of this first number doesn't matter this negative nine doesn't matter it's this negative negative see how they're touching negative negative you're subtracting a negative so we're gonna keep the first number the negative nine we're gonna change change these signs right here so it's still gonna be negative nine but minus minus becomes plus three so rewrite it don't try to just do this in your head jot it down I want to see that now can I think about what is negative 9 plus 3 so if you have to draw a number line sketch it real quick that's cool for the beginning but I'd like to get the point where I think okay man I owe somebody negative nine dollars I pay three of it back so I'm I'm at negative nine and I go in the positive direction three so where will I end up I'll end up still owing them six or I'll still end up being at negative six so that is it we're just gonna practice this some of you guys are gonna be like Psh, easy peasy gonna knock this out some people may need a little more practice whatever it takes uh, good luck on the practice and the master check peace out